You wanna get high? Fucking awful. This is what we call emotional damage. Damn, that's loud. I don't give a fuck. What up, y'all? I'm doing my thing. I definitely lost my voice. It is okay. I don't care. <laughs> it looks like someone has followed me while I was away. Cocktail overdose. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot. Like my my second monitor has to be over here 
because I only have like the small L desk. I have another desk, but of course I don't have it. Um, damn, you can tell that like my camera's not straight. It's just like really just okay. <sighs> Anyways, this is my life. Fucking, this is my room. I got a new gaming chair. That's kind of sick. I don't understand why people like the lumbar so much. It's like just okay. It's like nothing serious, honestly. See, like, look at this. It's like adjust it and shit. But I guess that's what it's for, right? I'm done. I actually am done because I've been, uh. I haven't done math in like fucking weeks, dude. And like, getting through all the self checks is great. That's easy. I don't get fucking graded on them, but I get graded on the quizzes. <sighs> Which fucking sucks. Dude. It's the worst. Baked scholar vibes. Fucking. Say, like, what is this? A sample of size n equals 10. Like, I wish I could share my three screen with you guys but I think that's that's like that's completely like, I, I think that's bad I can't do that. But <coughs> Do it. I didn't say that. Oh, I failed that module. And that's okay, I have to get up to eight. So one, two, three, four. Failed miserably. Bitch, I thought I could like leave and go back. I realized in the first question, oh, I'm gonna fucking fail this. Ah. Uh. Actually, take these seriously. I only have four modules. Five, six, seven, no. Five, six, seven, eight. I have four modules to do. If I want an incomplete, which means I have time to finish the rest of them. Probably do my best. Show my Displaying and describing by very data. What the fuck? Can someone like tell me what that is? Huh. 
The following chart represents the average retirement age by country. What do you notice that is wrong about the coloring in this chart? Coloring follows a pattern of blue, peach, and green, but it doesn't seem to me. You're right, because there is no legend to show what you know, which. What's the correlation? What, what's, why is Ireland, Italy, and France the same? And Britain, Belgium, the United States, and Japan are all, all their colors. Like, correct. Alrighty. We're doing it. The average temperature in the city is 34 degrees Fahrenheit during the sun. Bitch, that's cold. Using use, use the following groups for the average temperatures. All right, so cold is less than 40. No shit. Warm is 40 to 70, and hot is above 70. Darren, what group would you place an average temperature of 34 degrees Fahrenheit during summer? Cold, because it's less than 40. Look at the pictogram. Pictogram! Which of the following do you notice about the pictogram that would be misleading? Fruit collected. Banana, apple, cherry. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. What? There's nothing misleading. It's fruit collected and those the fucking fruit. showing me a pictogram and it's saying what do you what do you notice about the pictogram that would be misleading now this chart is really just about be, fruit being collected uh, collected, and it's bananas, apples, and cherries and there's four of each fucking fruit listed literally like a pic if you don't know what a pictogram is a pictogram is well, if you don't know what a pictogram is, a pictogram is basically a chart and uses pictures to determine how many of something is there. So, like, for this one, it's fruit collected. There's bananas, apples, and cherries. And to signify that there's four bananas being picked, there's four fucking bananas, right? There's four apples and four cherries. And this question is asking me which would be misleading. And it's, these are my choices, right? These, these are my choices. The size of each fruit is different. That doesn't fucking matter in a picture. It doesn't matter in a fucking graph. Who cares what size the picture is, right? The color of each fruit is different. First of all... Oh. I guess I found it. I, oh, I wasn't reading it right. Alright, anyways, this is the order of the fruits are not alphabetical. Like, that doesn't fucking matter. Like, who cares? And then it says there shouldn't be two red fruits. Like, apples and cherries do exist. Like, what do you mean they shouldn't... There shouldn't be two red fruits. Like... Now you have... Now you have strife with red fruits. Like, that's fucking crazy. Anyways, let's see if this is right. The color of each fruit is different. I guess that would be... That would technically be mis a misleading thing. But that's not what it's asking me. What do I notice about the pictogram that would be misleading? That's weird. Incorrect. It was that the color matches the fruit and wouldn't be misleading to the amount. Okay, so then which one is? It's not even gonna tell me the answer to that question okay, unless I do it again, which is really fucking dumb. Um. Well, hi there. What's your name? Urban Moves. Where are you from? Where, what's it like for you? Right well, I'm doing math. I don't know if like my stream has like a title or anything, but like I'm, uh, I'm a big scholar. So, oh, 
Oh, it's just the one who's like, I am a big scholar. Okay. I'm getting high as shit. And I'm doing uh, math for college, prerequisite stuff. And uh, it gave me a fucking pictogram. And the pictogram was about fruit. And it told me to. It asked me what was misleading about the pictogram, but there was nothing misleading about it. But it didn't give me a choice. It didn't, like, give me a choice to where, like, none of the, in like, it was just bullshit. Like, I, I wish I could, like, share on my screen, but I think because of, like, like, school stuff and whatnot, like, I'm not, like, allowed to. I don't know. All I know is that, like, I can't, and it's so dumb. Like, literally, like, I can't, like, physically stream it no matter, like, what I try to do. I literally try to math. Oh, it's based. Okay, so math. Math is uh, the one. The math that I'm doing. It's fundamental statistics. So you're basically going over like a bunch of like fractions and graphs and like variables and probability and and stuff like that. It's a. It's helpful in the sense where like, you know how like you know some people that like think they're always right. And it's, they think they're always right because they look at statistics. But what they don't think about is the variables within the statistics that are very misleading. Like, and... Yeah, like, this, like, like, stuff like, like, the course that I'm doing right now would be good for people like that. Who, like, take statistics out of context. You know what I'm saying? Um, so a recap. I mean, yeah, kind, yeah, basically. So it's basically a recap of, like... Some of like the basic things that you learned in high school, but it's it's applying it to st like statistics, which is like a, a college level um thing. Hello. Hi. Sorry, y'all. My mama called. And my mama important. We literally just saw it pass by Mother's Day. And her and I didn't really have the best Mother's Day. I didn't have the best Mother's Day for myself either. So, uh, trying to make time for her this week and stuff. We're gonna go to the grocery store together later. I like, I think one of like my favorite things to do with, with like my mom is like, run like errands with her go grocery shopping and stuff like that because like she's always been like really good at that and sometimes i'm like really bad and i'm like well what the fuck like, <laughs> uh so for those of you that just joined i am working on math uh homework quote unquote that i have not done since february <laughs> so i'm just here doing it all um but, but yeah, Urban, to answer your question, I don't know if I, like, I answered because my mom called, but yeah, it's basically a recap of, recap of, like, fractions, decimals, uh, graphs and stuff like that, but it's applying it to statistics. Um, so the math part, I mean, obviously we know, you know what I'm saying, but it's the applying it to things that are, like, bound to change. So basically this course is about, like, educate, educational guesses. You know, and it's like, how do you make the right educational guess if it's a guess? It's supposed to be a guess. Like, <laughs> what, do, what do I know, right? I also lost my voice. I I don't typically sound like this. Um, I lost my voice due to not having the best weekend. I know I was yelling and screaming and crying a lot. Um. But I feel better now. I mean, like school's almost done. About to, about to get myself like another another job for the summer and stuff like that. Like, 
did. I was working full time and going to school full time, killing myself, dude, killing myself. I was living with someone, and there was like a lot of pressure on like money and bills, and like we needed like house essentials, and like we had no money in our savings ever, and like I take care of a cat, like it's a lot. And then I ended up not living in that environment anymore, and. I had my job and I kept like needing days off because I mean like some health issues happened and they weren't giving me sick days for the days that like I they, they just weren't paying me right and then they denied I didn't even get to put in a request for medical leave they like denied me the right to put in a request so I quit my job I filed for unemployment and I reported them to the Better Business the, to the Better Business Bureau, whatever. And now I'm just waiting for law firms to call me back. So that's my life. <laughs> my goodness. I've had like over like 30 jobs in my life. I don't ever like going legal for half these jobs doesn't matter unless they do something crazy like what they did like, to me like I went through domestic violence I was homeless and blah 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 and they didn't my job had the tools to help me they asked me if I needed anything to let them know I told them what I needed and they didn't offer me it and then when I told them oh hey like I figured out that I qualify for this can we like move forward with it they just like ignored me for days Whenever I go to talk to my manager, he doesn't, like, say a word to me. He just kind of, like, looks at me and nods his head or shakes in. It's like, I need clear and cut communication. And then I asked to go back to work the following day, like, the night after I walked out. And I was like, hey, can I, like, clock in? Like, I, I literally left this job, like, thinking that, like, my life was stable. And, like, I realized that, like, my living situation isn't stable. So if I come in tomorrow and clock in, I'll work... For two weeks but like i do need medical leave like i have like neck and shoulder problems i have like nerve damage i i need help and they just told me no and i was like oh okay so like i will be taking legal action now like just so you guys know and like prepare yourselves to like fuck you and again i filed unemployment and stuff and they needed proof that i didn't have a job anymore and they were like oh well you have to get this letter from them i was like well i'm taking legal action so i give you per legal permission to go get that information from them because like i can't i'm not comfortable because they a job can't deny you a termination paper or whatever whatever it's called like if you quit or whatever they have to like if somewhere like requests like oh well we need proof that you quit your job or that you don't have your job like your job is like legally required to give you that paper but the same way they were legally required to give me sick time and medical leave and they didn't give me that they didn't give me that so how am i supposed to trust them to give me a termination well not a termination paper they didn't fucking fire me but you get what i'm saying like how am i supposed to trust them with that if i couldn't trust them with the other two things and not to mention all the other shit that like i know that's happened that i'm not even gonna speak on right now because that's nothing to do with me but like they're repeat offenders is what i'm saying and it's like no 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 dude no fuck that so yeah i quit my job to focus on taking care of my cat and being around her more because i was working and traveling to boston every fucking day which is an hour and a half for me almost two hours of travel time and focus on school because had i not quit my job i wouldn't i would have failed my semester and I would not have been able to like keep going back to school because the only way I can keep going to school is if I pass my classes because I have a grant I don't have to pay that back as long as I keep passing my classes like <laughs> I never have to pay to go to school as long as I do that so I'm doing my best to do that so that you know I can have a stable life one day have a good career or whatever like so yeah with that being said I'm on three out of 16 so let's see what we got here <clears throat> pop the speaker a little bit the owner of a local auto tire shop started to notice that more vehicles were coming that were coming in were electric vehicles Ew. on a particular day 
The owner noticed that 83 vehicles came into the shop for new tires and 28 of them were electric vehicles. What is the relative frequency of electric vehicles at the local auto tire shop? Like, why did you guys have to, like, word it like that? So there's 83 units. And 28 of them are different. So 28 over 83. What does that simplify to? Um, oh, I did that wrong. Yes, I have a calculator. <laughs> I'm allowed to. And even if I wasn't, I'm using it. Oh, oh, oh. I definitely did that wrong. Is that a big one? That's like six, five. I think I don't know how to how to do these because I have two different percentages. So I have two different decimals, and I'm trying to find the difference between the two. But I don't think it's as easy as just like subtracting them and being like, yeah, so that's the percent, like. Let's see. Oh no, that's right. You literally just like subtract it. You subtract the percentages and then like that's the, the, the difference is the rate dropped. That's cool. Well, the rate change. The following bar chart shows the number of hours a truck driver drove per week. What is a missing component from this bar chart? All right, so the number of hours uh, truck drivers and driving per week. What's that say? The number of hours a truck driver drove per week it is. Huh? This isn't... anything but the four multiple choice answers I have they're all kind of ass because like I know this chart is ass like there's obviously like a bunch of things missing from it but it's asking me what is a missing component it gives me the four options and only one of them is supposed to be right two of them is definitely wrong so we do not know which truck was driven I don't care about which truck is driven 
doesn't tell us the amount of hours, I don't think. No, oh yeah, it doesn't. The y-axis doesn't tell us the amount of hours that we're driven. Because assuming the bottom one to six, that's it's labeling each week. So week one, two, three, four, five, six. But there's no title. The only thing on this graph is a title. Numbers on the x-axis. And then like the bars. Because it's a bar graph. There's no like legend or like labeling or anything. So it's like. You removed six different components and wanted me to find one answer that could have been for, like, any of those. That's kind of insane, but yeah, sure. The scatter plot shows the approximate number of people using the internet from 99 to 06. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's bad. I wonder if that's, like, real. Uh, what does a single point on the graph represent? Alright, so if the plot is showing us the amount, the approximate, so whatever, the amount of people using the internet from 9 to 2006, this is the progression of people that have used the internet. Uh, the bottoms are the years. So X is the years, Y is the people, and... My cat's like afraid of uh, kids and I don't know why but she's never had like bad experiences with like kids I don't think it's just like you know how like how like high energy they are she doesn't like fuck with that it's okay kitty it's okay baby no death clues x-axis is the years, the y-axis is the number of people, so the points on the graph are, would be related to the internet, so the average number of people, number of people in the population that year, no, because I'm not talking about population of people, or the proportion of people using the internet, the average number of people, or the proportion, no, it's the average Average is just another word for approximate. So, what? I'm wrong. It was definitely the proportion of people using the internet that year. The owner of a local ice cream shop wanted to determine how frequently customers ordered various ice cream flavors, whatever. Uh, 67 people came into the ice cream shop. And of the 67, there's 23 vanilla, 33 chocolate, 11 strawberry. What's the relative frequency of chocolate? Okay, so 33 over 67. Easy. The following bar chart shows the inflation rate for country in 2022. What do you notice that could be misleading about the coloring of the chart? I know how to take a test. It's not about knowing the information. It's about knowing how to take a test, bro. Like, okay. A 
level 10 is to keep Freya. Wants to evaluate the height of bean, bean water. Of a tennis wants to evaluate the height of bean plants after offering different water schedules and amounts. Ooh. Oh wait, so it wants me to do the variable. So. Oh, okay. water schedules and amounts. The response variable will be the height of the bean. That's what the Tory variable will be the watering schedule and amount. Yes. Okay, cool. What is the following bar chart? What is the following do you notice about the, the bar chart scaling that would be misleading? Alright, data group. example is not like a real chart. We brought levity to each other's lives. But there's a lot more to life than that and I realized that uh, in these last few years. And um we just Oh yeah, why are we using numbers instead of and variables? So we had nothing in common overnight. It's very strange. But that what? That's so dumb. The average temperature of a day in Dubai in September has a high of 102 degrees and a low of 82. On a random September day, the temperature hits 66. Average temperatures. Alright, so low is less than 82. Normal is between 82 and 102. And high is 102. So where would we place 66 degrees? Probably fucking low. <laughs> doing percentages again so so what is it 20 doesn't make sense okay I'm not even gonna like alright scatter plot bar chart we don't know the amount of trees that were planted cool. all right two more questions left and this is just a ready guess right. a group of eight learners was randomly selected from a class the performance of these learners in the test were at 150 points and average number of hours is now
Scatter plot the place number of vendors at a summer fair from 2010 to 2016. Oh, I'm good at this shit. Alright, so here's after. Number of vendors. Okay, so here's at the bottom, the vendors are. I have to do variables with a graph now. Um, <clears throat> the order's paired three.
besides the last one jeez
I feel great. Yay. <sighs> I feel like I have to get these questions. I kinda wanna know. I like the three of them. And then the, the test one. Might as well. This chart is definitely. She's hiding in the
Sorry about that. I have a little bit of a has no sense of boundaries. And then a mother who gets mad at me exercising boundaries. Oh, he's just a kid. He doesn't know. Well, that's when you teach kids. That's when you're supposed to teach people boundaries is when they're a fucking child. Okay. <laughs> about the boundaries I'm not gonna I'm not gonna try to convince you because that's my kid <sighs> alrighty so the population the amount of people who what does it mean for a country to have the largest circle and a darker color? What? Largest circle and a darker color. So there's a thousand. I got them all right. Because, like, reading graphs isn't, like, the worst thing ever. Let's see. Expenditures on tobacco products from... Oh, by the level by education from 96 to 2012. Oh, jeez. Less than high school graduate. Yeah. from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. Alright, the shaded areas indicate recessions. Effective visualizations. Annual household income for different countries. Jesus Christ. You were like a ransom note. If I give in, will you come home? I put everything I had into getting you.
whatever. I tried to find a way to justify missing the signs I knew. My hands were tied the moment we met, and there was more to you. We were only 17, and I was your sin. This is crazy. The six starting quarterbacks.
Let's try it again.
myself into assumptions and present up to those things. Okay, I definitely got that one right. Ah, oh, purple orange. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Between household income and student loan balance in 2018 for nearly 35,000 households. So this is the student loan balance median average student loan balance average income 2018 for all individual households. Okay, cool. Let's go, 73. I did 
I hate when like you tell someone hey I'll let you know and then they're like up your ass like oh well let me know and it's like dude I said I'd let you know you don't need to know right now especially this person like whether you know now or four hours from now it doesn't matter because you're still working like, you don't have to know until it's time like, to leave dude like we both do nothing with our lives like eh? you know and it's been three fucking hours since like you last asked like no now i don't want you fucking here i still have to go fucking food shopping come back and still do this shit you want to oh can i come hang out are you gonna fucking do my schoolwork for me no you're not like like that's why i'm streaming like come fucking hang out with me if you can't hang out with me on my stream then why the fuck do you think you deserve to be in my house
You know what's crazy? I hate when like things will tell you like, hey, this is wrong, but it doesn't fucking tell you how you're wrong and like how to fix it. Like, I would like to know like why I'm wrong, where I fucked up. Maybe it would still be the same. 
that one right.
I'll be right back because I am clearly getting depleted of my energy. I'm not talking. I'm barely fucking thinking for these questions.
yo, yo, yo. Oh, where is that? I got two. My mom got me two. Got two. I kind of maybe ruined the pan downstairs, but that's okay. That's crazy. Like, when you heat up, like, soup and you put water in it, you would think that, like, it would work. <laughs> Uh. <sighs> I kind of want to definitely get into this. I hope my mic doesn't pick it up. When the downtown lights start to come out at night, we go and say, we go and say. And when I arrive, I start to lose my mind. I go and oh, say, my I go and say, Cause they told me you take too much. Yeah, I sure do. So I can feel that now. If they only knew how this was, yeah, they would too. Just to feel that now. Cause I ain't got no friends. I ain't got nobody, all I ain't got ahead is a moonlit road. Kitty. 